I'm Joe Catalano with an AM Quincy News update for Thursday, April 16th. The wife of former Quincy Mayor Frank McCauley has died of COVID-19. Sandra McCauley died at a Quincy nursing home this week, where her husband is also being treated for the virus. Mayor Thomas Koch praised Sandra for her many years of service on the Board of Trustees at the Thomas Crane Public Library. Earlier this week, Quincy Ward 1 Councilor Dave McCarthy offered his thoughts and prayers to the McCauley family. And Dr. John Mahoney of Quincy also died recently of coronavirus. Mayor Thomas Koch acknowledged Mahoney's passing this week, offering his condolences, saying that Dr. Mahoney will be remembered for his outstanding compassion and bedside manner. Seventy of the 119 patients at the Quincy Rehabilitation and Nursing Home on McGrath Highway have tested positive for the coronavirus. The State Department of Public Health and National Guard tested every patient recently. Now the state and an epidemiologist are on site managing that hotspot. A telephone hotline has been set up for families to contact their loved ones at the home. Call 617-660-5399. There are now 451 cases of the virus in Quincy. There have been 15 deaths and 129 people have recovered. There are almost 30,000 cases of coronavirus in Massachusetts. Four clients out of more than 100 at Father Bill's homeless shelter in Quincy have tested positive for coronavirus and are being quarantined at the Howard Johnson's Motel on Hancock Street and other locations. Manit Community Health Center is performing the testing in an effort to keep the virus from spreading through the homeless population. Those testing negative can return to the shelter on Broad Street or the temporary shelter at the South Shore YMCA. Quincy will be receiving an additional $1.1 million on top of the $1.8 million that it receives every year for community development block grant programs. Sean Glennon, the planning department, says the recent COVID-19 federal stimulus bill of $2.2 trillion includes the additional funding for the city, with the potential for two more rounds of grant money later this year. The grants are used to support local food pantries, housing assistance programs, infrastructure projects, and the Vatic Community Health Center. The CDBG program is recognized every year during this week with community events, which have been moved online this year due to the pandemic. You can visit Quincy Community Development Week com for a complete listing of activities. There are at least 14 positive cases of coronavirus in Quincy's public housing facilities. Now, Thomas Koch urging residents not to panic because there are more than 3,000 residents in public housing, but he says residents should stay home in order to prevent further spread of the virus. No visitors are allowed at public housing authority properties, as well as other senior housing and nursing homes in Quincy. It is still unclear if the Adams National Historical Park in Quincy will open for the season on May 1st. Superintendent Marianne Peake says the Park Service is still waiting for guidance from federal, state, and local officials on how to open the park and still maintain social distancing. Peake says there may be outside tours of the Adams Mansion and the Adams birthplaces, and perhaps some virtual tours, but she says no final decisions have been made. The Visitor Center in Quincy Center is also closed. All MBTA vehicles will sound their horns twice at 3 o'clock this afternoon to show support for the almost 6,400 T employees who are working to keep public transportation moving during the coronavirus pandemic. The T is joining with Amtrak and public transportation agencies in New York and New Jersey and other regional transit agency workers in the Sound the Horn campaign today. And the public is encouraged to use the hashtag Sound the Horn to post audio or video of buses and trains sounding their horns. And a reminder that we here at Quincy Access Television are asking you to send us your videos of how you're coping with the current pandemic. Use your phone, tablet, or computer to document how you're dealing with being cooped up at home, working from home, or otherwise making changes to your daily routine. Just email your videos to covid19 at 
QATV.org and look for the story soon on Quincy Access Television Channel 8. I'm Joe Catalano with an AM Quincy News Update for Thursday, April 16th, 2019.